to news, Mike Carbolito is back home helping instructor Gabe Baker over at the Carlson Gracie Junior Academy get things going at their new location. The gym is now on top of 1st and 10 in Inigua next to CM Restaurant. Mike recently competed in the 2011 Jiu-Jitsu World Championships in Long Beach, California, where he did well representing Guam. I had about 82 competitors in my division. Um, I fought in the middle heavy, middle heavyweight division. Goes up to about 194 pounds. Um, I had um, about I had six fights total. Uh, four fights won by submissions, uh, all under about a minute and a half. My uh, fifth fight, I won 4-0, four, four points. Um, and then my sixth fight, I fought this um, this Brazilian guy. He's straight from Brazil. Uh, he actually, they actually told me he won the Brasileiros, you know, the Brazilian Nationals, all of those. And so it was a really tough fight. You know, um, I lost barely two points in the last minute. So um, I mean, it was a good fight. You know, I made a mistake. I made a I made a mistake, and you know, I. I came out of it, you know, I obviously lost, but I learned a lot from that fight, you know, and he actually submitted all six of his opponents before me. So for me to be fortunate enough to, you know, be the only one not submitted by him, you know, I mean, kind of show something, but still though, you know, next time I'll come back harder, you know, next time come out on top. While he's back at home, Mike will be helping with the kids' classes over at the new gym Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30. For more information on the classes and gym hours, check out their Facebook page at Carlson Gracie Guam for schedules and upcoming events. He's been my longtime student. Mike actually started me when he was 14 years old, so it's actually a blessing to have him back on the gym and, and competing as much as he does right now. I mean, he's a true, uh, true warrior throughout the academy. He's an inspiration th throughout my team and hopefully for Guam as well because he re he's really proud about representing Guam in a tournament. And um, having him back on Guam to help me teach my kids class at 530 um, was actually good. So the kids would be able to come in and actually train from a, a guy that's, I mean, the Worlds is only one of the tournaments he's competed in, but he's won like five other ones before that, uh, five of the major tournaments. So it's a blessing to have him here on Guam.